Hello dear children, welcome back to the knowledge series by Amit Publishing House. I am Vandana and we are going to do book 5. This is the first page of a book. Let's click a trendy way to learn computers. So today we are going to do chapter 8 and the name of the chapter is more on scratch. So in a previous class we have already learned what is scratch. Today we are going to learn something new and some more things in scratch. So let's begin with the chapter. In this chapter we are going to learn about operators, conditioning blocks, sensing blocks, loops, variables and creating a game. So it's, it's going to be fun today. Because we are going to learn how to create game. First is operators. These blocks are colored, color coded as light green. So all these operator blocks we can see this is our operator block and this is colored as light green. Operator blocks are used to do arithmetic and logical calculations. So if we want to calculate something we have to use this operator block. So here we can see in the between there is a plus sign and here we can see there is a slash, there is a minus sign, there is a multiply sign here. So blocks in the operator category are oval and hexagon in shape. So these are we can see this is of oval shape or they are in hexagon shape. Arithmetic operators. Scratch has four operators that allows you to do arithmetic calculations. These are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So these are the four operators of operator block. Look at the codes to use addition block. So Similarly, we can use other blocks to perform subtraction, multiplication and division. Here we can see we have applied this operator block. Relational operators. Scratch has five operators that allows you to compare the relation between two values or variables. So as we told, as it was told it is of hexagon shape also. And it is used to compare <coughs> between two values or variables. It will compare two numbers and decide whether it is true or false. So this hexagon block is used to compare. And that oval block was used to do plus, minus, multiplication and division. The five relational operations, operators are plus sign, this is equal to less than, greater than, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So these are the symbols. We can see these symbols in our relational operator. Similarly, you can use the other blocks to perform less than or equal to. So the, these are the, this are the blocks. Next is logical operators. Using logical operators, you can combine two or more relational <coughs> operators to produce a single true false result. These blocks allows you to further refine your comparison of values. So by this we can refine our compa comparison of values. Here we can see these blocks are there. The result is true only if two expressions are true. So this block is applied there for this option. The result is true only if either of the expression is true. So only the result will come true when any one of this operation is true. The result is true only if the expression is false. So these are the blocks of logical operators. Next comes sensing blocks. Sensing blocks in scratch sense the input from the keyboard or the mouse at the time of execution of the script. 
Some of the sensing blocks are and the functions are given below. Let's learn what are these. What is your name? Mouse pointer, touching color, color is touching and key space pressed. First is what is your name? Block prompts the user to type the input using the keyboard. So by keyboard we can put the input here. It waits for the other input. No other block runs at that time. So when we use this, no other block will run at that time. Next is touching mouse pointer block. block if this block checks if the sprite touches the mouse pointer. Another sprite or the edge. So this block sees that the uh, sprite is touching the mouse pointer or another sprite or the edge. If the answer is true, then it executes the block, means it runs the block given after it in the condition and if false, then it executes other block as per the given condition. So in this, there is a choice if the block is given in the correct order, so it will run that, otherwise if it is false, then it will run the other block below that. Next is touching color, block checks if the sprite is touching the color chosen in the block. So whatever color is there in this block, the sprite has to touch that color. And if true, then it executes a set of block, else executes another set of blocks. So if the condition is true, if it is touching, then it executes, means it runs that set of blocks, else it executes or runs another set of blocks here. Next is color is touching this. This block checks if the first chosen color is touching the second chosen color. So there, here we can see there are two colors and it checks that the first color is touching the second color, chosen color. If true then it executes a set of block and if false then it runs another set of blocks. Key space pressed. Block checks if the chosen key is pressed by the user. If true, then it executes the block and if it is false, then it runs the another set of blocks. So these blocks act accordingly, written, whatever is written here, these are act accordingly. When we will use these blocks, we will come to know how these blocks work. Now let us create a small script to understand the working of the sensing blocks. How can the uh, sprite sense everything. How can the scratch sense everything? Sensing an input. So when we are putting any input, how it is sensing that? To add sensing blocks to the script, follow the given steps. So here we can see that our script area is there, sprite is also there on the screen. To add sensing blocks to the script, follow the given steps. Click on the sensing block category. So we have to click on this sensing block category. Here it is. Next, insert penguin 2 sprite on the stretch. So after uh, clicking here, we have to insert this. Penguin is given here. There are two sprites given. So another sprite has been inserted here. Delete the cat sprite. We have to delete this cat sprite from here. So here is a sprite, we have to delete it. From here we can delete it. Drag the ask block to the script area and click on it. Then we have to drag this ask block. Ask block has been dragged from here to here. This, this is our script area, we drag all the scripts here. So it has been dragged here. Type the name and click on the tick button or press the enter key. So here we are going to write down the name with our keyboard and then press the enter key. So here we have written the name penguin here. When you type the name and click on the tick button and press the enter key, the sprite does not show your name. It can be done by placing the answer block in the say block. So we have already put the name here, but it will not be shown here. How can it be done? We have to click on the checkbox before the answer block. So the, here is the checkbox given. We have to 
tick here in this check box then it will give the answer put the answer block in the save log so, and this answer block has been put here say type your name again and click on the tick button to press the enter key so again after placing this answer box um, block here we have typed the name here again and then press this enter key penguin speaks the name for the given number of times so i have written that i want my name to be written for uh, spoken for four times so whatever time how many times we have given that number is written there the penguin will speak that name that many times you can change the question in the ask block to any question of your choice so we can change the question from here click on the two text box and type the question so we have to click on this text box again and then type the question in the script area next are uh, what are variables a program is a group of command and instructions that tell the computer to carry out a task in scratch a program is called a script so what is a pro a program is a group of commands and instructions that tell the computer to carry out a task in scratch a program is called a script a script is made up of number of blocks so the blocks are the commands or instructions that we give to the sprite to perform a task so in scratch we use script or this commands or this command blocks are blocks are used to give command or instruction to the sprite and it acts accordingly performs the task all the numbers text dates and pictures that we use in the program is called data so whatever thing that we use it is called data we store this data in the computer memory so that we can get information from it later this data is stored in variables so all this data is stored in the form of variable it is called variable because it does not have a fixed value its value changes for example in the move block the variable has a value 10 but you can modify this value according to your script variables can store numbers as well as letters so whenever we use any type of block we can see there are numbers written there so those numbers are called variables and we can by default the default variable is 10 in the move block and we can change it to any desired number that we want creating variables in scratch to create variables in scratch follow the given steps click on for this sprite only if you want the variable to appear for the selected sprite only option here we have added the variable fruit it will be available for all the sprites so here we are using variable fruit how can we do that click on the variables block category we have to click on this variables block category so this is our variables block click on make a variable block so from here we have to click on make a block in this variables category it is of this color mustard yellow color type the variable name in the new variables name box so after typing the name click on the radio button on either of the options so here we have typed the variable fruits and we have to choose from any of the option for all sprite or for this only for this sprite only and by clicking we have to click on this ok button and after this what will happen the uh, fruits uh, that option will be made the questions will be related to that fruit the variable appears in the list of variable blocks so the in the uh, all these blocks we can see fruits is written everywhere in this my variable 
observe that the variable name fruit appears in all the blocks now create the following script so after this we have created this script every time you type a name or number the previous value in the variable gets deleted and a new value is stored so variables keep on changing the sprite will ask you to type your favorite fruit so we were using the variable fruit so the sprite is here asking us the type uh, to type your favorite fruit when you press the enter key the name of the fruit appears in the speech bubble in the of the penguin so this is the penguin and here we can see this is the speech bubble here so what is written here which is your favorite fruit and when we have written here mango here we have written mango and press this button we can see the penguin is an again saying mango it is answering the question the name of the fruit then appears on the answer as well as in the variable name on the stage so by this we can add the variables that we want next is conditional uh, conditional blocks many times you have to do a task which is dependent on some condition for example you have to make mango shake there are two conditions given go to the refrigerator and check if there are mangoes if mangoes are there then you will make a mango shake if mangoes are not there you will make a cold coffee so these are the conditions if there will be mango i will drink mango shake otherwise i will make a cold coffee here the condition is is the availability of the mango if the mangoes are available then only we can make mango shake when we can also write this in two ways first way is if mango is available then mango make a mango shake otherwise the second way is if mango is available then make a mango shake else make cold coffee so we have to we can use any of the two ways to write in this conditional blocks in such situation we can use conditional blocks such scratch has two conditional blocks they are if then block if then else block so we have learned about two so those two are given here in the previous page we have learned about two conditions and those two are given here in this block if the condition is true the block inside conditional block will run and if it is false the block inside conditional block will not run only the blocks outside the conditional block will run so whatever uh, we have fit inside that conditional block that will run in that case if the condition is true otherwise it won't run but in the second one what we can see if then else block in this block if the condition is true the block inside will run and if the condition is false the block inside else condition will run so whatever we have written in this else condition that option will run here if the first one is true then whole will run and if it is false then this else block the whatever is written in this else block that will run you can also use a forever and repeat block with this blocks so we have already learned about this forever and repeat blocks in our previous classes let us make a small script by using this change the sprite to butterfly and change the backdrop to flowers so here we have used a sprite as butterfly and we have changed the backdrop means the back area of the stage to flowers drag the even block so here these are the blocks used so we have draw drag the event block where green flag click to the sprite area so this is that this one when green flag click this is from the event drag next draw drag the control block forever so we have used this forever block to the script area to put it to the green flag block draw drag the 
move block and put it inside the we have used this move block now drag the if on edge bounds so if on edge bounds block is here now put the control block if then instead of forever block so now we have used if then block here and snap the sensing block touching colors so this was inserted in the hexagon of the loop the butterfly changes color and size when it touches the color so this it's talking about this color whenever the butterfly touches this color what will happen when the butterfly uh, the butterfly changes color the butterfly will change the color similarly you can create script with two sprites and then change the color when they touch each other so by using all these steps given here and when the butterfly touches this color it will change its color to this one so these are the steps we can follow it you can also apply this you can use this in your scratch and you can observe what happens next comes loops loops as you already know loops means something that is repeating again and again all the programs on project developed till now ran only once if you want to run a set of statement more than once you will either run the code again or write the script again in scratch we can save our time and effort by repeating the code without writing the program again or writing the script again so in this scratch we don't have to write that program again and again to run it we can use this loop option here the automatic running of a set of instructions more than once is called looping the blocks for looping are given in the control category so we have to go in the control category and from there we can use this looping blocks the repeat block is used to run the set of instruction for the specified number of times so whatever number of time is written here the action will be repeated that many times the repeat until block is used to repeat run a set of instructions till the condition is satisfied so this is repeat until block and it keeps on running the sprite till that condition is satisfied next is a forever block the forever block is used to run the set of instructions continuously until stop till the time we stop it till the time we press this stop button it will continuously keep on running the instructions inside this block will be executed in the loop until the stop button is clicked by the user so this is the set of program that we have uh, set <coughs> the repeat and repeat until blocks can be used to display the table of a number input by the user the script of the sprite can be like this using repeat until block next is how can we create a game so we can use all this in our scratch program and see the result next we are going to learn how can we create a game let us create a ping pong game so we have learned about the ping pong game so the, here are some scripts given we can copy these scripts in our scratch and we can see the results given here so many uh, crystal sprite crystal sprite magic wand sprite line sprite and nano sprite so here four five options are given we can run these programs so after that what happened click on the green flag to play the ping pong game using mouse so after uh, putting all those programs this screen comes in front of us and the game starts and with our mouse when we click on this green flag given on a screen the game will start and we can use you can play it with you by using your mouse so this was the chapter children let's come to recall time first is operators blocks are used to do arithmetic and logical calculations variables are data values for which the value can be changed when the code is being processed 
the statement that are executed on the basis of decision taken form a choice are called conditional statements the automatic running of the set of instructions more than once is called looping the sensing blocks in scratch sense the input from the keyboard or the mouse at the time of execution of the script we store data in the computer memory so that we can get information from it later this data is stored in variables scratch has two conditional blocks if then and if then else block so children let's come to the uh, book exercise first is check the correct which of the following blocks are used to do arithmetic and uh, logical operations so operators block is used to do arithmetic and logical operations which of the following blocks are used to sense the input from the keyboard or the mouse at the time of execution of the script so sensing block is used to sense the input which of the following can be used to check the conditional work so if we want to ch uh, check the conditional work what can we use we can use if then block can be used next is what is the automatic running of a set of instructions more than once called so what is it called it is called looping so in this the computer will uh, that scratch program will run automatically the set of instructions let's come to the fill in the blanks dash can combine two or more relational operators to produce a single true false result so it is logical operators next is you can use dash block to check if the sprite touches the color chosen in the block so what block can be used touch color block touch color block next is the data stored in the computer memory to get information from it later is stored in variables fourth one is the dash block is used to run the set of instructions for a specific number of times Re uh, this repeat repeat block is used to run the set of instructions next is true and false blocks for looping are given in the loop category no this is false next is the variables are used in programs to store and modify the data yes this is true operators blocks are color coded as light green yes this is also true and the last one is we cannot create our own variables in scratch, uh, scratch this is false we can create next is question and answers first question is what are operators block so operators block are used to do the arithmetic calculations like addition subtraction multiplication and division so the main use of operator block is doing all this arithmetic calculations next is write steps for sensing and input so for sensing and input we have to uh, click on the sensing block and there from there we have to pick that uh, penguin script as uh, sprite from there and just delete that cat sprite that is already given there and uh, we have to click on the ask block and these were the steps to for sensing and input what are the two types of conditional blocks so the two types of conditional blocks are if then blocks or the if then else block next is what are variables variables are da data values that are used by the uh, computer to store the data for further use so these are the variables 
and they can be changed whenever we write a new variable the old one gets deleted so these were the variables so children this was a chapter more on sprites we have uh, sorry more on scratch so we have learned many new things about scratch we have learned how can we create game and how can we run it you are uh, you all have to practice whatever we have done whatever blocks we have used here whatever variables or the repeat block or the forever block whatever blocks we have used here whatever commands were given in your book you have to practice all that in your scratch program so you have you, this scratch program can be downloaded free of cost from the internet and you have to practice each and everything that we have learned here so that you can be masters in scratch so this was all for today uh, i'll be waiting for you in the next video till then stay lit thank you